Get up there. Ah, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Hunting Magazine. This last week I was in Saskatchewan, had a tough hunt. It got me thinking about shot placement. In this vlog, we're gonna give you some tips for shot placement. Also, I may show you, hadn't decided, may show you how to keep a clean face in bear camp. We're gonna run our Northwoods contest one more week. Tell us why you want this Northwoods Gold Rush Fryer Grease Additive. Jed, I've been in the big waters of the far north of Saskatchewan this whole week. I just wondered if you've been filling those hat orders. I'm wore out. I'm hardly even caught up on sleep, but the people did get the July-August issue of Bear Hunting Magazine, and it's freaking awesome. Hold on, let me get it. Wait, wait. <laughs> See, I told you. The July-August issue of Bear Hunting Magazine is looking good. The other thing, that we could talk about is how you sired a litter of pups. What is beeping back there? Ryan didn't have an extra disposable razor. And Brent thought I was starting to look like a man again, so I decided I better shave. Is that the same one we used to get that there? We could trim a bear print right in his chest there. Hey, it ain't bad. Bye, Millen. Bears are some of the trickiest animals when it comes to shot placement. Here are a few reasons. Number one, they're covered in thick fur, making them appear larger than they really are. Number two, they move a lot. They rarely stand still. Number three, they're in an awkward position more often than they're in a good shooting position. They can sit down, lay down, stand on two legs, or they can have their shoulder back over their vitals. This bear appears to be broadside, but his vitals are almost completely covered by his front shoulder. He's cupped his body towards the hunter. Bad shot. Number four, they're just muscly, tough, big boned critters, and they're unforgiving when it comes to bad shot placement. Be patient. Not getting a shot is better than taking a bad shot. Let him walk off, he'll come back. Don't compromise. Yes, you could probably make that shot, but it's a lower percentage, so eventually the statistics are gonna catch up with you. Watch the front shoulder like a hawk. Make sure that it's straight down or extended forward before you shoot. This makes the vitals notably bigger. Aim further back than on a whitetail in center mass. No need to hug low and tight. We hug low and tight on a whitetail because the animal usually ducks at the sound of the arrow. Bear typically doesn't do that. Periphery shots are also more exaggerated on a bear because of the fur. Prioritize penetration in getting two holes above every other variable. Bears are notorious for not leaving much blood. You're gonna want an entry and an exit. That's partly the reason why you wanna shoot at one broadside. It gives the best chance for two holes. Thanks for joining the conservation this week at the Bear Hunting Magazine Global Headquarters. Jed and I are gonna be thinking about shot placement and you'll see our hunt from Saskatchewan last week in September when our Bear Horizon series comes out. Keep the wild places wild, because that's where the bears live. <laughs>